Let's learn how to work with Excel functions. We will use Excel as a tool to help illustrate and understand statistical concepts. Before we turn to Excel statistical capabilities, let's look at some simple Excel functions. Here in this spreadsheet column, E is labeled X, column F is labeled Y and column G is labeled X minus Y. The third column will hold the difference between the numbers in each X, Y pair. Let's start with the sum of the X's. Click in cell E13 and here is where we will insert the sum of all the X numbers. We can do this in a couple of ways. Here is the first way. Click on the formulas tab and then on the math and trig icon, scroll down until you find the function SUM. And that opens the sum dialog box. In the numbers box, Excel has guessed the numbers to add. Now, we have to correct because we want to add numbers in cell E2 through E11. After those numbers in the number 1 box, click OK. And there is the sum in cell E13. The formula bar shows equal sum and in parentheses the numbers we added. Sum is the function and the cell numbers in parentheses are called arguments. Now argument does not mean confrontation or debate. It's what mathematicians call the things that functions operate on. Delete the answer. And here is another way. When you become proficient in Excel, you can type the function in directly right into the cell without using the dialog box. So with cell E13 selected, type equals sum left parenthesis and then the numbers in E2 through E11 close parenthesis and enter and you see the formula appeared the same way in the dialog box. To get the sum of the Y numbers, all we have to do is select cell E13, move the cursor to the right to the lower right corner until a small plus sign appears. That is called a fill handle. Hold down the left mouse button and drag into cell F13. If you click on F13, you will see the formula appear in the formula bar. Statisticians often have to square each number in a set of numbers and add them up. Excel has a function for this. Select cell E14 and on math and trig menu find SUMSQ sum of squares. In the number box select cell E2 through E11. Click on OK and there is the sum of squares for E in cell E14. As before, drag the answer into cell F14 and you see the formula in the formula bar. Another thing statisticians sometimes have to do is find the sum of products of columns of numbers, meaning the find the product of each XY pair and add all the products together. Excel has a function for this too. Select cell F15 for the answer and select sum product from the math and right drop down menu. With the array 1 box active, select cell E2 through E11. And with the array 2 box active, select cells F2 through F11. Click OK and there is the sum of the XY products in cell F15. In our third column, we will put each X minus Y. The simplest way to do this is to select cell G2. Type equals, then click cell E2. Type minus sign. F2 and enter. You can then fill the rest of them by dragging down until you get to the last XY pair. Delete all the, the values except the first one and I will show you a cooler Excel way to fill them in. After calculating the first one, you select its cell, move to the lower right corner of the cell until you get the fill handle and double click. All the numbers fill in. This is called auto-filling the cells and only works vertically, not horizontally. And only works when the column that you are auto-filling is right next to the columns it's operating on. Delete all the values and learn one more way. Select cell G2 through G11. The array with the differences will appear. Then type equals and then select cells E2 through E11. Type the minus sign and then select cells F2 through F11. Finally, and this is important, press these three keys together on your keyboard. 
control shift and enter the answers appear in cell g2 through g11 this is called an array function and in the formula bar notice the curly brackets around the formula they signify array function i went through this method because excel has a number of helpful built-in array functions and it's a good idea to learn how to use them so in summary we use menus to insert functions we manually enter functions we drag to produce results we auto-filled and we learn how to use array function.